Gabe Brown said something uh, 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 we were together about a few months ago. Uh, Gabe Brown, he's an author and a farmer from North Dakota. And he said something that was very convicting. He said, you know your farm is a reflection of you. And so if we want this to be a reflection of, reflection of us, we have to know who us is. And so that's why this step is so important. You know, that's why coming to a, a deeper understanding of what it is that we are called to, if we feel called, if you feel called, if this is the place that God has placed you, then, then we need to understand who that is. And, and that, that word place is kind of interesting to me, particularly when you look at the word context, because context is a word con with text. Same word that we use textile. So it's within the tapestry, within the weaving that we make our decisions. And so we have to determine what is it? How has God woven us together? What is the fabric, you know, within which we're making our decisions? We have to see that. And, uh, and so this is going to be a reflection. So it's, this step is very important to understand. And I know it seems like uh, we're getting real philosophical and like, come on, let's get on to the nuts and bolts. And that, that's, we really can sometimes spend too much time in this phase and then have paralysis by analysis, okay? We can, we can get here and we can just be, you know, so focused on this and getting in the philosophy of it that we, 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 we lose uh, where we're really, we're, we lose what we're trying to accomplish here. So we don't want to, we don't want to get overly focused on it, but we do want to have an understanding of who we are, what God's called us to be, what God's called this land to be, and our, and therefore our place in husband, husbanding this and bringing it to the place that God has called it, called us to. So. What, what I'm hearing from you, too, is there, there's, some, there's something I want to draw out a little bit, is that when I got to this land, like I keep, I keep joking, you know, it was just this waist-high wilderness full of snakes and, you know, uh, cockroaches and scorpions and a dilapidated old farmhouse and two barns that were about to fall over. And we have felt that what you shared so much in our family that it's really been a picture of our family. When we showed up, we were forced to live in a very small house on the property in tight conditions. The rain made it impossible for us to walk around because the gumbo was so thick, uh, that, that Blackland Prairie, you couldn't walk through it. And so we, as we started to see the land come about in a greater order, as we were able to work it over here and mow down this section and put up some fruit trees, we saw that little bit of order. Well, our family began to become ordered as well at, at almost the same exact pace. It really was. so. I think a lot of people may hear, you know, who are you? And they may say, well, I need to make a list because I don't know. Mm -hmm. that, that would be my first reaction. Um, a couple of years ago before I started coming into the context of this community where so many folks such as yourself are, are long in the, uh, the working of the land. And I didn't know who I was. Um, I had an idea of where I was going uh, and I needed help to do that in sort of there's this dream in the future, right? And I was, I was telling my wife about this recently, about some relationship issues we'd had in the house. And I said, you know, when we drive down that driveway, there's a big yellow dumpster, there's a house under construction, there's these weeds over here and a couple of fruit trees that aren't really doing too well. I said, if we show up and we see the mess, we're going to be bogged down and we're just going to want to give it up. But if you show up with that, that, the dreamer's eye that sees into the future and sees where we're going, we're going to have hope, we're going to have faith, we're going to have renewed energy, we're going to want to move forward and knock down every obstacle that's in our way. We're going to have a fervor and a zeal. And that's exactly what our relationships need to be. I mean, th that's what I'm talking about, about the land ministering to us, is that there's, a, there's an us that, you know, the sons of God are waiting to be revealed. Right? There's an us in the future that has not yet materialized, and we need to go through difficult processes to get there. So when I hear you say, who are we? It seems to me like more of a trajectory than a static being. Exactly. That's moving. It's a journey. Yeah. It's your wholeness is a journey. And we move from faith to faith, from glory to glory. So there's this revelation. We walk by revelation. And even with the land, it's not only revealing us to us, the invisible attributes of God, 
It's revealing things about us. It's a context within which God can move. That's why God placed us in a garden. And we can begin to see Him and in a different way. And it is that journey that you're talking about. It is a journey of revelation, continually walking in, and as the kingdom is advancing because we're seeing it in a greater and greater way. And so this is, this is the beauty of it. That, that it reveals that. It reveals that ongoing revelatory walk that we're called to walk. That is who we are.